Hey everybody, I just thought I'd um, show you a few failures and successes of a Raku firing I went to this weekend. A friend of mine was having a Raku party and uh, I took along some pieces. This is the first one that didn't go very well. It turned out nice, but unfortunately, big crack through it. Then secondly, got these other pieces here now. These ones cracked almost immediately, putting them into the kiln. I think it's one of two reasons. One is, um, I think the glaze hadn't fully dried out. And also, with it being such a flat surface put onto a really hot kiln shelf, I think the, the thermal shock was too great and they just popped apart almost instantly. Same as this one here. Um, shame really because it's got some quite nice effects on it. They're quite good, I like them, but uh, we live and learn. I think what I need to do is prop them up on some kiln uh, props and uh, not let such a big area touch the uh, shelf itself when I put them in. Here's another one. Uh, this is a little drinking bowl, but unfortunately there's a huge crack through it. You can see it better on the inside, I think, just in there. So if that crack hadn't been there, that might have been quite a nice piece. Same again here, this one. The uh, decoration seems to have burnt off it somehow. And also some quite big cracks through. You can, you can see them uh, from the inside as well. Quite big. And uh, the glaze has pooled in the bottom. That's quite horrible. That will be for the garden. For the frost to get out and smash I think but we'll put it in the garden. Now we get a couple of um, successes. This is the uh, cut lid piece that I um, threw the other day. Threw it upside down and then turned it over if you remember if you've seen the other ones. And uh, that turned out okay. You can quite get the copper on the top there. It's quite nice that. Metallic. Then a couple of these you know me bowls. These are just decorative only because they've got copper in them with the thumbprint in. They've turned out not too bad. That black mark there isn't a crack. It's just where I've not cleaned it off properly yet. And then I want across here. That's another one. That's quite nice. Beautiful copper in the inside. But like I say, these are decorative only because you can possibly put a liquid in there and drink from it. One thing, Raku is not that um, watertight, a bit porous, but also copper is quite poisonous. Now, back to these two pieces here. These we're going to have wooden, uh, copper wire and wooden pieces put through them. And I've actually got one finished here. I'll just show it you. Quite pleased with this. A beautiful copper flash on the top. This is uh, walnut and bamboo threads, and it goes right through so it actually supports itself at the back. And held on by pegs and copper that goes up, pierces the body. It. it works quite well. Let's see if I can get the effect you want there. And then the back there, just as all these other ones were going pear shaped, I suddenly took out this piece here, which I think has worked quite well. That's got a copper glaze on. It's oxidized a little bit on the outside, that's why it's greeny blue. But I filled it with sawdust in the in the bin. I don't know if you can get it get it there. Let me just see if I can turn it so you can see. The copper inside of there is absolutely beautiful. So just as things are going bad, take heart because something beautiful turns up that you weren't expecting. And that's it. Only a few pieces. I lost a few. There's one up there. That wasn't uh, a kiln accident. That was a uh, hitting my head on the shelf. 
accident and it dropped on the floor. <laughs> so uh, that's just there to teach me to live and learn, keep back, uh, not to be so clumsy. Okay, I'm just going to go and have a another kiln opening now across at my capture. And uh, I'll post that one in a little bit, just around the side of the house here. There's my new second hand kiln, still waiting to get in. I need a, quite a large shoehorn, I think, to get that kiln through that doorway. Any suggestions? Let me know. Ha <laughs> ha.